Hello YouTube fans, here again And I thought I'd do something different, why not, why not Got a bit bored doing cannibals, but I'm not finished with the cannibals I'm not finished with the video on Nastis But to make a thing, I remember talking about Bruce Lee, Taki Tan And other martial art films before, but I've not really talked about this one It's not a movie as such, but it's a buy off the fair That being, The Legend But there's actually two on this DVD, there's The Man, The Myth the legend and he's also the legend love this jump in it always have done do a lot of date martial arts stuff and do a lot of date stuff of bruce lee i do know they've got a 4k of bruce lee big dock of box set on blu-ray and they're gonna be ordering it well, they got a lot of blu-rays i mean i'm an old-fashioned guy but bit of is really good they've got um, an attended version of the big boss and a lot of good features, and I'm a sucker for features. So speaking of features, why not this? The Legend, the Man and Myth. Now, the first one is a buy-off to be like both are. First one, not really that date. Come out in 1973. And it's roughly not that long when Bruce Lee died. Depressing as it is, you get to see real footage of his funeral. It's also bits about when he was a kid. And so on, but... There's better buy off the fist than the first one. There's a lot of better ones over the years. I mean, there have been some talking about the Bruce Lee imitations. There have been some talking about Bruce Lee before he made it big. There's been loads and loads of buy off the fist. So the first buy off the fist is not one of the best. But, but there's a good what bit in it where it's throwing an original idea of Ray of the Dragon. Because believe it or not, Bruce Lee would have lived. Bruce Lee wanted to do sort of like a remake of Ray of the Dragon. He wanted to bring back Chuck Norris as the same villain. But instead of it being in, um, I don't think now where it was. It felt that's it, it was in Rome. We should remember that. Because everyone remember the famous fight scene between Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee in the Roman ruins. I'm going to forget that. So I can't remember now, he wanted to put it somewhere else and not Rome. And he had other good ideas. He wanted to put more of a budget in it as well as diet that but. Sad to say it was never to be, but it was a good interesting little bit of a story there. And there was a bit of a story about what happened when he was training and so on. So, The Man in the Myth, it's not a bad one, but there was better by off the fist. There's a bit in it where it's going on about his dog. I do like the bit where it mentions Charles Lazenby, that's why, right, the, sec the um, second Bond itself. Because believe it or not, I'd Bruce Lee would have lived, they was going to do a martial art film with sort of like George Lazenby. Bruce Lee. It was going to be similar to like a Bond film, even though it wasn't a Bond film. And it was Bruce Lee was going to be the main star. And I thought that would have been pretty awesome. The second actor, who I was thought was unestimated, with Bruce Lee. Now, I do know they did sort of like that, a martial art film with George Lazenby. and Beth. The less I talk about that, the better. But it would have been a hell of a lot better had he would have been the star. And then we get the legend come out in 1984 roughly almost 10 years of Pussy had he passed away and i don't like the legend it's not it does it's also a bit of a bio to be it does a lot of um tacit martial art films as well like due to the death part two a damn good worthy sequel fantasy sorcery fighting martial art film and it's also a lot of you know the old tacit martial art things and one thing else I like about the legend, for people who may or may not know, but anyone who's an hardcore Bruce Lee fan will already know, that Bruce Lee was a kiddie actor. Before he made it bid in the martial art films, he was a kiddie actor with his dad. His dad was a was an actor as well, and so on. And, you know, I mean, he was half American, so he wasn't fully Chinese. And, um, you know, he tried to make it bid. We all know he did the gene on it. And it only lasted three seasons. The worst is I remember insulting this. The APC fucking removed it, like the arseholes, what they are. He did a few other TV timers. He tried to do one which shows the original world disser, which sadly never rubbed off. And what's also so fucking sad is he tried to do Kung Fu. We all know Kung Fu, and we all know the story that David Tadita, known as Density Actor, as he's no longer with us, may he rest, got the role because he didn't think. Because he was Chinese, they didn't think he'd be dud, which is a piece of fucking dog shit. He written the idea, he wanted to diet it, he had really good ideas, a good imagination, 
and they stole his ideas, they gave it to JP Charity and they went like that to Bruce with a V excuse, every fob off and going. And even the day it makes my blood boil. Even though I do like Kung Fu, I went it would have been a hell of a lot better with him. Not with against JP Charity, but it would have been a lot better with Bruce there. And he tried to make it big and it says in the bio to fair being about the diet just in America was like you can tell. It was only when he went back to Hong Kong, the company which was Jordan Harvest, I love Jordan Harvest, I do up watching all the tacky tans. And I do remember saying that, I do up watching all the tacky tans. I, do, I saw this, this was the first time I saw Bruce Lee was on the bio to be on the video before DVD called The Legend. And I thought, who is this guy? I never even knew who Bruce were. I never knew anything about him. And this was what got me into Bruce was his spy off the fair. That's something I will give it to do. Special features are not a lot to a norm about, but you do get the original theatrical trailer of the legend. And it's in its uncut form. There's a bit where it's always Bruce, you know, with the famous nunchuckers, which when the second time they released it on video, sadly to say, being a wonderful, not burping, shitty censorship, Decided to do, cut it, you know, kids are going to go to stool and twat one another with nunchuckers. Seriously. But I have to say now, you can see that in its uncut form. So, like I say, Dolden Harfist is stuff with it. Decided to do the first film, being the big boss. It was a bid it. One thereafter, Fist of Fur, and the one I just said, what he also directed, did it in Rome. With Chuck Norris being Ray of the Dragon. It basically tells them all Ray of the Dragon, the big boss, so they go on. And it basically tells you all the moves he did. It even tells some Chinese fighters what well, imitate the moves, what Bruce Lee did. So it's even in artistic drawing. And there's another thing I love it just saw original footage of Dame of Death. So it's the original auditions, so it's everything and it makes me sad it makes me sad because we never got to see dame of death what i would have loved to have seen it's the original story the original everything and i reckon it would have been a hell of a lot better than the dame of death we got to see in 1978 it does so original behind the scenes of enter the Dag dragon get it right then said that enter the dragon what was a big box office it as so as it made bruce lee bid in america it was done by Water Buffers. Well, Raymond Chow, we all know, was the one that directed and produced it, as well as directed and produced Dame of Death, the 78 one. And it was basically talking about all the comic books, how we kept itself fit and alpha, and then sadly to say, it told you the story of how Bruce Lee died in, you know, July the 3rd, 1973. We all know the story that in July 1973 he died. There was a lot of theories of how he died and he was he being unfaithful. We all know he wasn't being unfaithful. We all know the story now. You know what I mean? You want to know about it. What's the legend? We all know he had a allergic reaction to a paracetamol and sadly that's what killed Bruce Lee. Which is pretty sad. And it's really sad because he was an icon. And you remember right there, he was only 32 when he died. So he wasn't even old. You know what I mean, we lost a date, date star when you think about it. Still, is well known being Bruce but after that, it talks about the imitations, all the people who imitated Bruce Lee, like Bruce Lai, all the authors, and then then it goes to Dame of Death, which basically all they did really, if you all know, they'd use lose loads and loads of fucking lookalikes to do so a bit of footage. What was a deleted scene, which would later be used in Dame of Death 2, which I already mentioned that, which was going to be Tower of Death. It just saw the original making of that. And basically, you know what I mean, it's all 1978 Dame of Death. Sadly to say, it just saw bits of the funeral of Bruce Lee. I thought it was a bit poor taste. We really need that. You know, it's all the real Bruce Lee's body and everything, which is, you know, but the rest of it, I actually like this. It was a really good buy off the fear. I thought it was a lot better than The Man in the Myth. There's bits where I thought it was a bit depressing. This was a, the, the legend was my favourite one. As I say, it got me into Bruce Lee. I mean, I like Bruce Lee. Still do. Still a well known martial artist, and a lot of people win for him today. So, you know what I mean? At the end, it's always a bit of tacky time, and it actually says 
Tacky, I mean, I, I respect Tacky Time. I mean, he does his own stunts, and but it, like it says, he, he won't replace the man that being Boos there. I do like Tacky Time, don't get me wrong. I watched Tacky Time before I ever saw Boos, but Boos Lee will always be a legend, and it actually says that in the end of the film, well, by Otter Fair. And it's a good one. I like the music in it. At the end, at the end, it does actually so. Very rare footage from 1972, the original footage from Dame of Death. But yeah, I like it. It's a good buy off the fair. Movie length. And so if anyone's a Bruce Lee fan out there, you definitely want to get The Legend. The Man and the Myth, because it's got two buy off the fairs. It's there. But I think The Legend was a little bit more better. You know I mean, there's been better buy off the fairs over the years of Bruce. And that's a bit of me what always visited Brandon Lee. Bruce Lee's son. Why has he never made a buy off the fee of him? Somebody let me know. But nevertheless, I do like this. It's got lots of stuff there. It's got loads of art artistic drawings. I do love the fact that he did that. It was like a fantasy film. Sad to say, never got to be. It was so one film, what you can definitely see what influenced the Soul Run Assassins, one of the long trump films I reviewed. There's a bit of that where the guy is blind and I think Bruce C imitated his blind warrior saucer. I love the bits where it's all bits of Fist of Furler, the original, the classic. So it's not a, it's not a bad buy off the face. If you like buy off the face and you're a sucker like me, check it out. If there's any DVDs, any buy off the face, any movies you're into, let me know. But into them, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you later.